today in this video, I'm going to show you how to get people to say yes to buy on your website right now. Let's go. Let's make a quick video how to help you get your customers not only to go to your blog, to your website, and click, but they're going to buy. There is no guarantees that they're going to buy, but we do have different strategies how to get them to buy for you. So here they are. Are you ready? Number one, pop-ups pop-ups work. I have Wix.com. Yep. Wix.com. Not WordPress. Wix. I use Wix because it seems a little easier for me and it works really well. You can go under Wix.com. Uh, I can say I'm an affiliate with them, but go ahead and just go to Wix.com. You don't need to pay me any commissions. But anyways, this is how it works. When you go into Wix.com, and you click on edit. You're going to click over to the left where the plus sign says add apps. On the search bar, you're going to type in pop-ups. And what's going to happen is you're going to get two. Yes, two pop-ups. The first one is a Facebook pop-up, which is called a pixel. Yes, you want to put that on there. So just add to app and it'll apply it to your uh, to your website, to your blog. And here's why you need the pop-up of Facebook, the pixel, which is called, is because the pixel helps Facebook know who's liking your, your website. So what happens is when you send out a Facebook ad, yes, I recommend Facebook ads, they work. You could put a budget of 20 bucks. You could put a budget of $2 a day. I happen to use $10 a day because I do know it works. So here's what happens. Once you start advertising on Facebook, they have billions of people all around the world that they are seeing what they do, what they buy, what they're looking for. And this way it takes the guessing game out of your business, especially if you're an affiliate marketer. I didn't say e-commerce because e-commerce, they got to buy their own products. They got to decide what's the best products. Right now, I'm only talking about affiliate marketing. Well, all you're doing is you're bringing people to that store. If it's Amazon, whether it's ClickBank, to a product and people are buying and you get a commission. You want a high ticket item? There are a lot of them out there. I happen to go through Legendary Marketer. So that's a high ticket item that I, I sell. So let's get back. So we go to Wix.com. We put on the Facebook Pixel. And once that's done, Facebook is able to know who's on your site. So after a while, when you advertise with them, they're going to call you up and say, Hey, I can help you with your marketing. And they are free. Facebook wants to help you. They're actually giving you a hint that you're not doing it correctly and that they can reach the customers that you're looking for. But you got to add the pop-up, the Facebook pixel. So that's why it's important. All right. So that's number one. So number two, what you want to put on there, and this is what's important, is a pop-up. So when they leave, I know what you're saying. Not no pop-up. I hate pop-ups. But pop-ups will increase people to buy, believe it or not. It's because it pops up and you could say like this. You could put your picture, which is your image, and you could say, um, this is not a scam. We're legit. And this way, it sort of detours them from like leaving your website. Because a lot of people... You know, I know I've had Adfly, and you're given like 
eight seconds for people to view your your website and they quickly turn it off you know if they don't like it or they don't like the video if they don't like the way the design is you know I'm not a perfect web designer but you know what I do have content that they want to see we do help we give value so what happens here so once they click on your website you could set it for 10 seconds 15 seconds or when they leave the website it comes up it's a pop-up and it tells them I'm sorry if you leave your email we could fix our website or if you'd like to know about more products give us your email and then it shows show me how and they click on it this way you build your email list when they come on even though at that time they're busy and they don't have time to look at your site so we talked about pop-ups two of them number one a Facebook pop-up because it pops up and it shows do you like this and they like it and guess what it shows up through Facebook and the second one is a pop-up that lets them know hey why are you leaving the page? Do you not believe us? Do you not like the website? And then on the very end, I put, if they just want to opt out, you can say, no thanks, but I did like your website. This way, you know, we find out if they really do like a website. If not, we change it. So I hope this helps you out. Pop-ups, they increase you're buying. They increase your customers to buy from you. All right. Hope that works for you. Have a great day.